What is going on guys? Welcome back to my Manchester United FIFA 17 career mode series. So here we've got a game in the EFL Cup. It's round three against Chelsea. So early rounds and we have a tough game, but always want to beat the best teams. I feel like I do pretty well against big teams uh, most of the time. So hopefully we can go into this game. Uh, made a change. Uh, brought in Fosu Mensa. Verratti's a bit tired. And I think this will be the starting eleven to get into this game with. So I really want to have a good game here. Uh, big opponent. Let's go. Oh, interception. Yes. Well made there. Come on. Now it's Neymar. Oh, he gets passed nicely. Neymar. 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 Oh, my God. That was really good. And we're going to deservingly finish that bail. Uh, two new signings for the season combining uh, old teammates, uh, teammates again as well in James Rodriguez and Gareth Bale. But nice little finish there as well by Gareth Bale. But the work by Neymar was really good. There we go. That's better stuff, guys. Come on. De Vrij. Oh, uh-oh. De Vrij, what are you doing? Neymar going to set it up. Griezmann. See, those are the chances I should really finish. And I'll see in a second. But Harmes Rodriguez. See, that's the thing. When you're doing a live commentary and playing FIFA, I think people who don't do that or never did it at least, you guys who don't make videos, you don't understand like how easy that is. Like it's not easy because you have to think and you have to think what to say. And so you're not just uh, like saying stupid things that don't make sense. So you have to think about more while playing. So yeah. You probably you, you you probably can't imagine it. Oh, you just play FIFA like normal, but no, you have to still uh, be interesting and everything like that. So please keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hamas Rodriguez. Hamas Rodriguez. Oh, and I can still do that, mate. Oh, <laughs> yeah, mate. Come on. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Wow. So I can pull off um, some decent shots. <laughs> That's a goal and a half, isn't it? So yeah, but really what I'm referencing is when I have like an episode where I lose like one game, there'll be people saying, oh, it was terrible because you lost one game. But like, I still won the title every season and everything like that. So I'm not, uh, yeah, I guess I'll put that point out there. I'm, I'm not someone who's going to win every single game. But I think that would be boring if someone did, if you watch that, someone winning every single game. But like, yeah, I, I'm, I've never tried to attempt to be the best player in FIFA. I just want to share my career modes, you know, create the career mode story. And I think anyone who makes career mode videos, that's not their focus, to try and be the best player or at least showcase that. Sure, it's nice to get good goals and whatever, but that's not the main reason why they made videos. So hopefully, yeah, you guys understand that. And let's just finish this game off. Let's just smash Chelsea here. Come on, mate. But, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I get pumped up with certain things. But I hope you understand it. At least my my intentions anyway, it's not to prove that I'm a good player at FIFA. So I hope you guys understand that. I just want to, yeah, create entertaining videos and, yeah, focus on the actual career <laughs> more than, like, how many games I win or lose or draw. So I hope you guys understand that. And here we're just making some changes. So yeah, Harmes Rodriguez. And when I score a goal like that, I pretty much get pumped up instantly. It's just, yeah, my reactions. It's pretty exciting to be fair when you score a goal like that. But yeah, it's, yeah I just get excited because I think maybe I wasn't expecting to score a goal like that. Pretty crazy against a decent team as well. But anyway, make the changes. Oh, Martial should be on. He just come on. He's got pace. He should just keep running here. He should burn him. Oh, very, very close. Should finish. Should finish. And this is a smashing performance here. Even David Alaba uh, getting forward to score a goal. Plays well defensively for us and uh, gets a deserved goal here. Martial, yeah, using his pace. But then obviously with Alaba in a great position, he was able to tuck that home. Here's Masonda Jr. Let's just block him. Too easy. But he got it back, actually, to be fair. He did well. But again, it's too easy for Bailly there. So easy. And Aurier plays out of defense well. And here we go again. Messi. That has to be a... F oh, he, he got injured. Man. No way. He is getting older, I suppose. 
Or is he is he actually injured? Did he trick the game into thinking he's injured because he stayed down? Because, you know, he is a Barcelona player. <laughs> no, man. So, I bet Messi isn't actually injured. I bet he isn't injured, Messi. Come on, got to get rid of this. Okay, where's the players? Oh, Messi, he could be on. You, He's supposed to be injured. I told you, he doesn't look injured. He just stayed down. Come on. Oh, didn't have that breakaway pace, though. Though, he's got skill. Bio. Why did I try and pronounce his name weird? Like he was Eric Bai. <laughs> so his new name is Bile. That sounds pretty weird. But anyway, <laughs> Gareth Bale. I just got too excited there. But at the end of the day, make it 4 0. Not half bad. So there we go, guys. 4 0 away from home against Chelsea in this EFL Cup match, which is probably the least important cup for the season. But it's still a good team. Uh, they yeah put a good starting eleven out, and we were able to dominate them more or less. So yeah, see that's what we can do. I I I guess that's the thing. People probably expect me to do this every single game, and if I can do this against Chelsea, why can't I do it against easier teams? But if you played FIFA, especially on Legendary, it's not always the case. Though I will do it majority of games. And of course, previously, the English scout came back, so we'll just send him out again, simple, to England as well, that makes sense. Nine months, and see if we can get some more youth guys. But guys, another big game. We've got Spurs. They're top of the table. Same point as Southampton, obviously, would have a better goal difference, so I hope it will be this way. Like... Every season, when we've won the title, by the end of the season, it was pretty much a clear victory. I'd love for it to be a battle throughout the season. And that's the thing as well. Yeah, in case you didn't realize, I have won the title every single season. So, I would love a contest actually to the end. If that would be... See, that would make it interesting. Wouldn't it be... In... That's all what I've always battled. So, maybe I shouldn't like focus on it at all. I'll just, I'll just record my videos and whatever, you know. But... Wouldn't it be more exciting if it was close by the end of the season in the league and maybe it came down to the final day, which would mean I would maybe lose and draw some games, but wouldn't you find that more exciting? So I don't know. There'll be people who uh, think it's boring if I win a lot of games, but then if I start losing some games, obviously not on purpose, just by yeah the natural uh, course of playing a career mode, people just think I'm bad at the game or whatever. So it's the battle of one side you're either gonna think it's boring or you're gonna think i'm crap but just for different reasons so i guess i can't win as a youtuber because people always look to uh the most negative thing of a video so maybe i'll just record videos and not worry about anything <laughs> that's probably best let's go neymar gets the sanchez now okay we need a number out wide surely someone has to be there okay messy <laughs> what's messy doing say oh my god no don't tell me get an injury. Get up, Bellerin. No, get up. Don't stay down. No way. Come on, man. Now we get Bellerin injured. See what I mean? This is why we need... We don't even have someone in his position. How can he get an injury just like that? Fuck. What, just bring on Luke Shaw? Who's got a better weak foot? Luke Shaw. Yeah, he's two-star weak foot. Alaba, okay, for four star, so he should be all right. We'll put him there, and then obviously, yeah, Smalling back to centre back. Ah, oh, that's just annoying. Oh, I know I should be used to it, so I don't know. Yeah, Ballerin, he's a new signing. Yeah, the new signing glitch. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or whatever, but. When you make a new signing, they get injured and then injured for three months. So I'll pretty much, I'd put my house on that, that he's going to be injured for three months. 100%. Oh, that's not bad. you got to win that smalling and does. Now Verratti's through. Uh-oh. Dali Ali. That's going to be, that's, that's supposed to be a free kick. Dybala scores against us. Well, maybe he is worth the money after, yeah, they spent a lot on him. He scores against us. Wow. But I tried to give away a foul. Obviously, it's advantage. So maybe this will be one of the tough games. I thought, yeah, we would have been just able to defend him. But I guess not. That's, oh, that's such a bad feeling, him scoring against us. 
Hopefully it doesn't cost us later in the season. But again, like I said before, if it's close, it's going to make the season interesting. Opposed like other season where the yeah, other seasons where we dominate and win clearly. So yeah, it's it's interesting feeling cuz I want it interesting for you guys at the same time. And here we go, Pogba. Now Alaba getting forward. Here we are. Set it up for Messi. Messi, oh that's a foul. That's a foul. How come we couldn't keep going? <laughs> but anyway, Messi, I think, we'll use him here. Come on, Lionel. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Oh, just too much on it. The direction was good. Ooh, too close then. Because when you're that close, it's hard to get it up and down. Verratti, who's become a very, very good player. World class. He was a good player when we signed him. But he's developed, continued to get better. Oh, Neymar. Not bad by Neymar. 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 Neymar is too good. Did he score? Verratti is celebrating. Or not? Was he... Oh, no. He got in the way. Don't tell me. No, don't. That was a goal. No. He didn't touch the ball. You fucking cunt. Get fucked, man. It, like, I watched that. He didn't even touch it. Man, if that cost us... Yeah, I don't care if I complain about it because that should be a goal. He didn't do anything. He didn't impact the ball. Nah, fuck off. Man, is... <laughs> I don't even know. Rashford, come on. We... Mm, man. It makes me frustrated because we should have a goal in this tight game. Now it's Dybala. No. Oh, what's the odds they're going to score? No. Can't let that happen, man. <laughs> yeah. That just frustrates me. Come on. That's just ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that would have been a goal. It was a goal. Oh, Herrera's coming on now. All these ex-Manchester United players. Oh, my God. To join Dybala. And see, that's the thing, guys, what I want to talk about. Maybe he did touch it, Verratti, but he wasn't the player I was controlling. The CPU control all my other players when I'm not... Yeah, I'm obviously controlling one, like Pogba. So, the CPU made him offside. So, you see what I mean? I didn't put him in that position. So, yeah, that's really annoying, honestly. But what can you do about it? Not much, I guess. But yeah, that that wasn't my fault that that happened. You can't say it was because I wasn't controlling him. <laughs> oh, man. It, we need to go short. We need to pass short. We need to pass short. Okay. Luke Shaw gets it to Messi. Lionel Messi. Oh, too many men back, unfortunately. But this has been a tight game. Even as frustrating as it's been, it's been fun. Because it's a challenge, you know what I mean? We've got to fight to score the goal. Neymar, come on. Come on, where's support? Oh, this is going to be the last play. I always find it difficult here. Like, we eventually uh, lose it this, because there's too many. There's too many cunts in the box. I can't do shit, man. There's too many there. Fuck off. <sighs> to be fair, Tottenham were the better team. So, I hope you don't take my reactions the wrong way. Tottenham were better. They were better than us. I'm frustrated because we didn't play better. So, hopefully, you understand that. When I get frustrated, it's me getting mad at myself not playing like I did in the last game. See, a crazy variation, I don't know, uh, to my performances. And, guys, Hector Ballerin did get that three-month injury. Again, it's not a surprise, and it is actually a thing in FIFA when you sign a player, they can get an injury and it will be three months. Whether it's just coincidence or not, but it's happened too many times. If you watch this career mode as a whole, it's at least happened every season to one of my new signings. If not, yeah, multiple players during the season. And now, guys, we have got a game back in the Champions League against Ajax. So, yeah, I'm excited for this game to definitely, hopefully get a win, of course. And that will be, yeah, third game for the episode. We'll play these three and... What happens in this game will really set the tone for the episode because we got a very good result against Chelsea, a dominating performance. So if we get a win here, we can forget about the Tottenham result, really. <laughs> so yeah, two wins to one. <laughs> That's the way I'll see it. Come on. We have to put in a great performance. Again, made some more rotations. 
Uh, like when you look at a team like this, oh, you made rotation. Team looked pretty good. Uh, we'll try Cristiano Ronaldo in behind in that attacking midfield position behind the striker. And let's see how he goes. We definitely have to win this one though. Okay, here's Verratti. Griezmann, we need some space. He's going to try and create it. Okay. Alaba, he's going to turn and he's going to finish. How about that, Alaba? He's starting to score some goals. We don't rely on him to. That's not his role. But he's showing him how it's done. And we get the first goal in this game. That's going to be huge for us. Going to be huge. Nice goal there, David Alaba. Okay, James Rodriguez. Gets off to Martial. Ooh, quick movement there. He was waiting for him. And then he went. And then he... Ooh, pen! Yes! Get in. Come on. I'm celebrating already, so I better score it. Ooh. Really well won. That's a one penalty. Where you win the penalty doing some skill. Again. Did well on that occasion. Griezmann, again, is he the best option to take a pen? I want to give the penalty to... Yeah, we'll go with our best. Harmes Rodriguez. And just a little tap. The pass penalty. So there you can see he guessed the right way, but he didn't save it. So that's the... I wouldn't call it a cheat, but they just don't say it. But you got to... You have to aim in the right way, though. You, like, if it was a little bit closer to him, he would have saved it, obviously. It was close to his back there, but yeah, you got to get it right. And if you do, they yeah they, they they just don't get in the position to save it when they save it to one way. So he did guess the right way, but yeah, put it in that position, he won't. Ronaldo gets it to Griezmann. Okay. Oh, not bad, Griezmann. Whew. See, we're having a good game again, <laughs> like a really dominant game like we were against Chelsea. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's finish this game off. Make it 3-0. If it's not finished already, of course. Martial. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo! How good is this lad? I shouldn't even have to say that, to be honest. We all know how good Cristiano Ronaldo is for Manchester United, definitely. Just take a look at that finish. That's class. Cristiano Ronaldo. Hopefully, he scores more this Champions League campaign. This is good stuff. Ronaldo now. Can he do it again? Ronaldo getting past. Cristiano Ronaldo. Pure and sheer dominance from Cristiano Ronaldo. Turning back the clock. Playing like he did for Manchester United all those years ago. How about that, mate? Sanchez to Ronaldo. Poor oh, man, Ronaldo. He's still amazing. He is still amazing. Going to lead to another goal. Martial! It is 5! Five! 5-0! Five Come on, mate. I'm so glad I did play this game. It's the third game for the episode. Come on. Take a look at that. 5-0. Absolute class. But guys, the game did end here. 5-0. Amazing performance. See, look at that. Ruben Kazan beat Bayern 1-0. So, yeah, teams, they have those shock results, really. And Spurs, yeah, they're just dominating right now. So, yeah, they're just having that good patch of form. Unfortunately, yeah, David Alaba, he'll be missing for the next match in the Champions League. So, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, you can see we're in fifth position, though. Tottenham, uh, that's what you get when they win against you. So, it is, hopefully going to be an interesting season. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, we did lose against Tottenham. But that's the way it goes. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.